A lot of Vision Pro owners would probably agree that one of the best killer features on Vision Pro is watching content. Now, of course, you've got apps like Disney and Max, and you can have these great experiences watching streaming content, downloading content to the device, 3D, 2D, etc. But what if you have your own files you want to watch on the Vision Pro? That's where it gets a little bit more complicated. Fortunately, Moon Player has developed an app which has made it really easy, and I'm a big fan. So I want to show you some of the features of Moon Player and kind of talk through how I use it and show you kind of a real demo. So this is all you see when you first open up Moon Player. Uh, there are quite a few options though in terms of how you can play videos. Uh, you can open straight from your photo album. Uh, you've got all sorts of things here that you can play. And then you can also open from iCloud. So for example, I have, let's see, just one video out here I made a while back. A call by the way is a And then I have my video from iCloud right here. Uh, so that is really cool, super easy to play. We can also go to import videos, also uh, kind of on the device itself that you can kind of put in wirelessly. And then they've got this Moonlink app that runs on the computer and allows you to stream directly from your computer. So I've already uploaded a couple of videos on the computer over here. So we can see, for example, this 3D trailer for Avatar. Let's see what it looks like. Now you might not be able to see the 3D effect, but it does know it's a 3D side-by-side -side file and just automatically combines it for me. And frame rate looks fantastic. It is just really good looking. The fact that it's streaming from my computer, I mean, I can't even tell. It seems like it's right on the device. So that is great. And we still have the full hand occlusion, everything that you would expect. And we got all sorts of theater features as well. We can go ahead and go to different environments and we can see pass-through mode, which we're in right now. Dark just makes everything dark. That's actually really nice if you want to have this immersive kind of setting, of course, still see your hands in the dark environment. Or you can even be in a private cinema. And you can see I'm sitting on a little sofa here and we've got the whole, the walls and everything. So it looks like a real cinema here, really big. So this is almost taking too much of my field of view. I can go back to the environment settings and actually change some details here. So seat height, you can see, let me bring this down. Seat height, you can see it kind of brings us up further. And now I'm kind of looking down at the screen. I'm kind of way up or all the way the other way. Now it's up here in front of me. I kind of like it here. And then I can also do back. So now I'm in the back position in the theater. I'll move this over here. This feels right to me. Like this is fantastic here. Great 3D effects. I really feel like I'm sitting in a theater. And we can also make it bright. So it's just a little bit more bright in the room. Uh, and then ambient light, you can notice that you see the light changing a little bit with each scene. We can turn that off. Now, if that's off, there's not going to be any change in the lights. I mean, obviously, you want ambient light on. That makes it realistic. Uh, let's try some other things. So Moon Max. Here, we can see we're kind of in like a big IMAX theater. It's really soft light, like you almost can't tell unless you're really looking carefully. But let's see if we can brighten that up. Okay, there we go. Now we're in this big, bright IMAX theater. That's actually a pretty cool look as well. I've got a couple other files here, but I wanna show you in real time how easy it is to bring something in from my computer to Moonlink to the Vision Pro. So I downloaded a couple of files Here's just like a 3D file I found on YouTube. I'll bring that in. And then I just download like a 4K little demo video. I'll bring that in. So those are there. Now I'm gonna go back and just do a little refresh. And there we go, they're already here. I don't know how it's that fast. Honestly, it doesn't make sense to me. But we've got these two new videos. So let's do Infiltrator, another 3D. Notice it just made it really big. It's probably not understanding the file type. So all I got to do is actually click right here. And this is all sorts of different ways we can watch a video. So in this one, it's going to be 3D mode, left, right, because it's a side-by-side -side file, 3D SBS. But let's just do regular. OK, regular. And then let's get out of this theater environment. Now, if we play, we've got 
this 3D view, although it looks like it's still too wide. And also the video quality on this one's not very good. There we go. So I changed it from left, right to left, right, full. So there's all sorts of different options here. Let's play this again. And now we have kind of a better looking 3D uh, video here. Although again, the quality of this YouTube download is not very good. Let's try one more though. Just a standard 4K video. Regular, mono. Oh wow, perfect. So here we have just this fantastic giant screen. The other thing that Moon Player allows is for like a really big screen in front of you. For some of these other video player apps, like it's kind of locked into something like this. You can't make it much bigger, but here is a fantastic 4K video. I mean, this looks super good from here. Again, for me, this is actually a little bit too close. So I'm gonna go over here and turn this into a window. And now I have a normal window. I can put this anywhere and then I can even use different apps uh, for example, we'll just open up files here. And so you can see I have like different apps open while playing from Moon Player. You can make it big like this. Not as big as that other mode I was just showing you, but there you go. So it also has a built-in YouTube player. Now it has kind of these different demos and bookmarks here, but I want to just use it as a normal YouTube player. And here it just brings me to my standard homepage so I can bring in a video. Hoping to get my hands on these soon, hopefully. That would be great. And as I play this, it's just like a normal browser here. But if we click the play button, it's going to make it into a giant window, again, with all the same settings that we just went through. So I can go ahead and make it a window. And again, have different apps open. Uh, so it's a really nice interface for YouTube. And I want to try, uh, let's see, 8K. Let's see 8K 3D SBS if this works. Okay, side by side, we're gonna go back to our settings, left, right. And now we've got it, 3D video. The quality looks decent. I might just have to find like a better uh, video file to play around with, but here you go. You can watch 3D straight from YouTube. Let's try one more for fun. Okay, we're at side by side, that's not what we want. So we're gonna go here, left, right. The 3D actually looks a little weird to me. Let me see if it's left, right, full. You know, this one, to be honest, looks a little weird. So I think you just have to find the right files uh, to really make this work effectively. But I think you get the point that in YouTube now, you can have kind of all these different settings, theater modes, etc., cetera, uh, running through the Moon Player app. And there's just a quick look at Moon Player. I think there's a lot more things that you can do, but let's go for a minute to their other app, which is called Moon Portal in Frame. So they've got a few different things here. They're, I think some of it's a bit gimmicky, if I'm being honest, like they have portals. And you can place this and then kind of like walk into a portal and look around. And then there's my room and then back here. So it's almost like tech demo type stuff. But I honestly would not be using that day to day. Uh, we'll go back to one more skywalk. And here it's like that old, I think, Richie's Plank experience. So we have a very similar experience where you get to walk out here. You wanna be careful because it doesn't seem to like understand where part surfaces are in the room. It just kind of <laughs> goes against all of that. So as I walk, I'm being a little careful. And it has a little uh, screeching, squeaking sound of the wood. And let's take a jump. There we go. So falling down, again, a little gimmicky kind of fun party trick. So you've got that. And then the last thing I'll show you is a new roller coaster. There we go. We're dropping into the roller coaster.
I mean, yeah, so this is a beta. It's a new experience that they're showing off here. I'll pause here. I honestly don't really feel much motion sickness when uh, going through this. Some other apps that try to do this, I think the movement isn't quite right. So it's pretty smooth. And that's what it looks like. We'll do one more drop. There we go. And that's all I want to show today. So that's Moon Player and Moon Portal. Uh, very curious if you guys, any power users of Moon Player out there, have different ways that they are utilizing the software. I think it's really cool, at least from the little bit that I've tested with. Uh, so let me know if you have any hacks or ideas for how to use this more effectively. And otherwise, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you on the next one.